Now, the Korean Thanksgiving holiday Chuseok is just around the corner, and for many people, it's time to indulge in food and drinks and, of course, your loved ones. But humans are not the only ones celebrating. Those lovey dovey furballs at a local zoo are getting some special treatment as well. Our Om um Ji Young has more. Thanksgiving will be just like any other day for the critters at South Korea's Everland Zoo. But last week, ahead of time, they had a special feast and plenty of guests to entertain. A five year old red panda named Lessi is loving the special treatment. He got a traditional Korean plate called kujarpan, full of fruits like bananas, apples, and tomatoes. This bundle of fur, perched in a tree, is in an extra good mood today, greeting his keeper and the dozens of visitors who ooh and ah. That panda is eating all the delicious fruit. I want to get some for Chuseok too. The ring tailed lemurs are also getting some treats. It's up to the zookeeper, who's wearing the traditional Korean hanbok, to make sure they all get to enjoy the feast. It's fun for the visitors to watch the animals find, play with, and eat their treats. We're doing this to celebrate Thanksgiving and have some fun with the animals living here at the zoo. We've set up some special ways to feed them, like the kujolpan and putting bananas in the hay. The treats are different for each species. Elephants get bundles of hay decorated with fruits and vegetables, which they gather around and put their snouts in. The zoo is located in Yongin, Gyeonggi-do province, and is home to more than 1,600 animals. The pre-Thanksgiving feast has been a pleasure for the animals and the zoo-goers alike. Om Ji-young, Arirang News.